Last couple go down. First, good luck if you're joining us here. Auckland Greys on a Sunday afternoon. Set racing. Tiger Karen gets away nicely here, but Hot Lass does show a bit more speed. Carla Lewinsky with the play there from Tiger Karen, whipping the outside. There we go to High Flyer, little gap in the field. Cora Jane, she just runs off, gives the rail there to Love and the Alien. And now follow back towards the tail of field. Pint Star and Neck Minute on the corner, middle of the track. Tiger Karen gets home. Tiger Karen in here. And then we go to High Flyer, Hot Lass, getting home the rail. There was Carla Lewinsky in that pack, also Pint Star. Uh, further back, we would have had there Love and the Alien, Coleridge Ainsley was back towards the tail of the field there with uh, the other one back there, Nick Minnett. Tiger Karen uh, in the first of the day will beat the eight, the two, and the four. One, eight, two, and four as we go to the wire. Race number one, 18 and 92 uh, was the winner. If he's plus sprint, second of the day. A lot of yap over there. As the bunny rolls forward. Race number two, favoured off the inside, set ready. Racing, getting away okay was Punk Portsy, but out wider there we go to Paradise City. She's caught up well today. Wider out there is Corborn Steffi down on the inside. Punk Portsy, exciting dream. A length or two back there we go. Fireside Blaze further back for Vernon and tailed off a long way back as one wild thing on the corner. Still kicking Paradise City. The inside Punk Portsy. Punk Portsy, Paradise City. Then we go Cullen's impact. Corborn Steffi back there was exciting dream. It's outside was Fireside Blaze. A gap there to Vernon. Out at the tail of the field, one wild thing must have got a miss at the tail. Close, desperately close here. Uh, length to the inside here, I know you should go the outside, but uh, we'll just wait and see here. It's very, very close. I just lent Punk Portsy here. I thought he just might have sneaked along the rail. Uh, here, in fact, he has got it. One, six, eight, and seven. Uh, 18 and 71, the time splits. 4.63, and to the post in a 14.08. Just pushing along late will grab uh, the speedy uh, Paradise City. She caught it well today, didn't she, Paradise City? There, 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 but... Wow, there's got to be a lot in it. Not a lot in it. I'm all flying. Camera all flying too, so... Uh, but we'll just wait and see what that official margin was uh, here. But, uh, just what did happen to the nine in this uh, slow way? And I don't know if it fell or just... Um, uh, has broken down at the tail. We'll find out here, won't we? As they go into the bend here. No, it's just broken down going into the bend. Uh, so bad luck. Line in. And so I can soar up. And we're ready. Race number three, the Browns heap. Money coming, Shepard in here. Set ready. Racing. Shevin and away okay. Getting out to as Miss Arkansas goes to lead the inside is Captain Carlos looking for a bit of room. Captain Coots just cops a check at that stage. Moving around the outside is Glow Bell Doll. Uh, Favourite Shevin and back in about fourth positive. It starts to run further back there. We go to Roll Oats back there. Rhoda Holmes, Aston Red, but up they come and out wide. Here comes Captain Coots. Oh, Captain Coots, Captain Carlos. Then we go to Shevin and followed across there by Roll Oats further back would have been Aston Red. Then we have Rhoda Holmes, the two at the tail. Uh, Glow Bell Doll and Miss Arkansas. Gee, this has done some. The four. Um, copped a bit of a check off the top, but he's got home. All right, four, three, one, and... What else do we have there? The two, wasn't it? 18 and 84, the winner's time. Uh, there's Captain Coots, the four. He's about to bound up to them there, and he just seemed to cop a bit of a check. I think it was about now, didn't he? Uh, there it is, off the back of them. Got stood on, and he's still got up to win. This has been big. Big, big, big win. Four, three, one, and two, 18, 84, splits, so 471. And to the post in A, 14 and 13. Well, if you backed him like me, you would have been tearing your tickets up, uh, coming off the top there, uh, where he just got checked out of it. Then he's picked himself up again and uh, driven over the top. Should never have won the race. Look, he's last away. Drove up between them here. And... Uh, his head on will tell us what happens to him. He got home by one and a half lengths, by one and a quarter lengths. Just squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Jumped off the back of one or two there and uh, just gets pushed out wide and he's just scouted around them jags fly last up we're ready race number four bunny rolling up set racing 
Slow away there was Jags Flyer, a bit of speed coming. Kutkuna Warren out wider. There we go to Big Lass looking for the rail. There is Dun Robin. You wider still to Big Sam's Girl out wider there too. Thrilling Kite looking for the rail as Jags Flyer. The tail of the field. Triple M hand and Ryman Melody on the corner kicking the inside. Kid Kunawara out wide comes Big Lass. Big Lass, Kid Kunawara. Then we go Big Sam's Girl followed home there by Thrilling Kite. Uh, Dun Robin, you in that pack there with the Triple M hand. Jags Flyer and further back there we would have had uh, uh, Ryman Melody uh, towards the tail of the field. But Big Lass. So get over the top here. Yep, so big last number six takes out race number four on the program, beating home the favourite Kid Kunawara. So it'll be six to beat home the two Kid Kunawara. And I think the third across the line was the nine in Big Sam's Girl. So six, two, nine, and eight. Six, two, nine, and eight. Let's go to Tiataha now for race number seven. And this is the handicap trot. Tis a secret. Well, tis side. Box and set. Race number five. Bunny rolling up. Set ready. Racing. Getting away nicely here is Moon Warrior once again. The inside is barely possible. Out by the track. There we go. Team Jacob cool and dry with a plate out of the inside is Deb Bell. Followed a length or two back by Percentage Man. Team Jacob tries to scout round an art attack last on the corner. Cutting right across the whole lot. Cool and dry is found. Cool and dry will get away and get the prize second across here. Uh, we'll go on trade Deb Bale. Uh, then we're close again. Barely possible and out wide of Team Jacob. Uh, followed further back here by Percentage Man. Art attack and Moon Warrior was back towards the tail. Cool and dry. The eight here will beat the six and the one. And uh, let's just have a look at them off the top. What happened to Moon Warrior? Got out all right. Uh, here he's ended up running last, second last here. Uh, going into the bend, and uh, he's up there all right. Just got uh, checked across there. He's still with the plate, but uh, pushing along around the area is just going up in the air and uh, caught by the two as well. Uh, the eight crosses, cool and dry, and uh, that was enough to win the race. Eight, six, one, four, eighteen, and ninety-three, and we'll get those splits for you. Home fourteen, twenty-four, off the top four and sixty-nine. So four, sixty-nine, fourteen, and twenty-four, eight, six, one, and four. Uh, the numbers required here in race and number five on the card, the cool and dry from the Craig Kennels by Big Daddy Cool from Miss Amy Dry. Jumped out a right off for the wide first um, glimpse that's showing off the wide boxes uh, for um, uh, the Greyhound and uh, four's just bored, 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 hasn't it, into the five and uh, then it uh, got a bit checked, he's let him So last couple down Green light through, bunny rolling up, race number six, set and ready Racing, Lock and Var Valero gets away right and showing a bit of speed out here as Benny. Benny Rocks goes the lead from Lock and Var Valero. One just runs out there. That was Asagai. Took a couple out there. Winsome Flash and also taking out Thrilling Bolt. Off down the back they go. Benny Rocks looking to back to back them. Cambridge on Thursday and here today. Getting into the race comes Lock and Var Valero. Followed back by Mint Power. Gap there to Asagai. A long way back there. Thrilling Bolt and Winsome Flash. Benny's rocking them again. Away he goes. And Benny Rocks will get the prize second across here, Mint Power, followed home by Lock and Var Valero, then we go to Asagai, gap in the field, Winsome Flash and last was Thrilling Bolt Top win by Benny Rocks, winning that race, race number 6 through from the Monaco Greyhounds, it'd be 6, 7 1 and 3 Right, feature race of the day at Tiaraha is not too far away, it is the Morrinsville Grass Cup and Toddy, a runner that was a pretty good effort from him when finishing into second position in the Tiao Mutu Cup. Uh, what was it? Last time to the races? 5.30, 1.60. Three back the fence and was able to uh, cut the winning margin 